Happy Pride, everyone, here at Beit Mishpacha. We celebrate pride in many ways, but one of those is through prayer. And I wanted to share a special prayer that we have in our Siddur, in our prayer book for the month of pride, something that we put into the Amidah section of our service that allows us to offer thanks for where we are and also look to where we might want to be. We thank you for the miracles, liberation, heroism, and triumphs that you brought to our ancestors in those days at this season. In the wake of the civil rights movement, lesbians and gay men, bisexuals and trans people began to organize for the dignity and justice each of us is due as human beings on this earth. Those who profane your name, claiming that they hate us in the name of God, rose up to criminalize us, pathologize us, and brutalize us, and erase us. And you, in your great mercy, stood with us in the time of our troubles. You fought alongside us, vindicated us, gave us the courage to stand together, to open our eyes and the eyes of the world around us to see that the freedom and the right to love belongs to all of your creations. You have given us the strength to witness and create wonders, to be who we are and to love whom we love, not only in the safety of our home, but outside in the light of the world, to live as Jews in the embrace of the community, to sanctify our unions and celebrate ourselves before each other and before you. Evan Masu Habonim Haita Rosh Pina. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. May we never know shame again. This prayer by Rabbi Ayelet Sonia Cohen is one that helps guide us through our pride celebrations, and one that we're happy to share with you. Happy Pride.